Welcome to this episode of Emergency Intercom. Today we're going to be talking about murder. <laughs> we should do a crime episode. I actually would be so down. I was just thinking about that, like right before we started. I was like, because I was like, oh, how could we? Never mind. I can't even get into. It. I can't even get into it with them. I was, <laughs> I was gonna say because remember when I really wanted us to do a crime podcast? Yeah. Um, I wanted us to do, I won't say the whole idea because I don't want one of you little kind of slimy advanced. bitches to do it, but I had a really good idea for a crime podcast for me and Drew and all my managers shut me down. Baby. We still do it and we put it out there and see what happens. <laughs> That's how all good art is made. You just do it and you put it out there. Exactly. And see, see which one of the sharks bite. Exactly. There's so many products that like I'll be enjoying and then I will look it up and they were popular. They got bought out on Shark Tank. Oh yeah. Um that poppy like probiotic oh, yeah, brand, yeah, yeah. that's a Shark Tank product. Word. And there's this product the that ones that you you drank strictly drank that for 3 months in a row and you were complaining every single day like why is my ass exploding why does my stomach hurt so bad why am i so bloated all the time it's because you were putting like the most probiotics i was pulling ever, literally trillions of probiotics into, literally the most any humans ever put into their body ever in their entire life i'm going to go back to doing that it was fun it was something to complain about these days i just i don't feel like i have anything to complain about i can give you something to complain about I'll be a sore thumb. In my ass. <laughs> Someone the other day on a video that I was watching um, on YouTube, they were like, oh, if you curse in the first like five minutes, you get, there's a high chance you get demonetized. Mm. Maybe that's why we get demonetized is because we talk about the C word. Dick and balls. Oh my God. Cock, cock and, balls. and balls. Dick, cock. Uh. There's a very big difference Your between little pecker. cock, dick, and penis. There's a big difference yeah, between there those is. three words. <laughs> there is a very... Yeah. Well, first of all, one of those should only be used in medical settings. Penis. Penis. Dick is like... Your member. You're, you're like a dickhead. <laughs> yeah, dick, dick is like you're being a dick right now. Yeah, and cock is very sexual. I'm about to fuck. I'm about to obliterate that cock. <laughs> you know those... You know those jelly sticks that people were slurping up in one go on TikTok and like choking yeah. on it? That's me with cock. Oh my god. Whatever. I, I suck it out of plastic. If oh there's a god. condom on a cock, I bite the tip off with my teeth and suck the con the cock through the condom. <laughs> oh, now you're the one being silent. Can I see your member? <laughs> my little dinky, my little dinker. <laughs> um, um, Drew took a picture of himself the other day. That was really good. Oh, yeah. Your mirror picture the that, mirror like, can't stuff. be public. Girl, fuck this episode. I don't know what to fucking talk about. <laughs> like, literally, I'm sitting here, like, my brain is off. <laughs> I took vitamin B complex this morning. And if this is what uppers feel like, to the average person, I never, ever want to touch an upper again in my entire life. This is the worst feeling I've ever felt. My stomach is boiling. <laughs> my brain feels like every neuron at the same time is firing. I cannot think a clear thought. I don't know how people are focused on B-complex. Also, my breath tastes like fucking shit ass. And I keep burping <laughs> Your like Your breath tastes bombs. like shit ass because you're just nasty. Because I eat ass. Um, no, and then I keep burping like shit bombs. Up my fucking, <laughs> they're like deep, deep in the gullet. Deep, deep in the guttural. Gut. Yeah. Guttural burps. Yeah. Um, so fuck B-complex. Drew is basically openly admitting that he believes that his vitamin B that he took this morning is making him fucking high. Yes. And and he like he and also mind you Absolutely. he took it one day I never heard that out of him like he was like I feel like crazy right now yeah. but I was like whatever and then the next day he was told that it could make him high so now every single day he takes it and talks about how he feels high yeah which is 
Y- Which y- is true. It's true. Oh, so no, you're just a little sheep. My reality is constantly fucking attacked, and there's <laughs> ways to combat that. I Your think- reality is not real. <laughs> no. <laughs> See, you're attacking my reality. Look, if you want to change someone's that. mind, if you want to change someone's mind, you heard this from someone else the other day. You're, you're you heard this from Josh. You're attacking you're- their reality, <laughs> so you don't want to attack their fucking reality. You want to just like kind of coax them and like mold theirs and like make them realize that their reality is wrong. I literally heard Josh tell him this yesterday. Like, okay. <laughs> like, and how are you supposed to ever hear anything ever in your entire fucking life? Someone's going to tell you fucking something. Like, I'm done. Like, I'm trying to keep this fucking podcast going, but I'm constantly attacked for anything I fucking do on here. Anything else? You're a bitch. <laughs> so is Kai. What? Kai yeah. isn't a bitch. He's a little fucking cunt. Oh, okay. oh my god! I'm sorry. Oh my god! I Whatever. Thought, I thought Enya was gonna stand up for me. No, never. Oh, never that. Never. Um. Well, thank you for literally killing the vibe because I'm in the best mood ever. Like, if anybody was wondering well, about no, that's me, that's what I have to do is I have to take everybody down with me. I feel I'm not good. Called the vibe terrorist for a reason. Like, I bring <laughs> everybody down with. You're me. You're not called that for a reason. Uh, what happened to my fucking bracelet? When you were sleeping, I tarnished it. Rise tarnished. Rise? Rise tarnished. Is that from Dune? Elden Ring. Did you buy Dune tickets? Nope. Okay, good. Because I don't want to see that shit. We're going. Josh and Drew are trying to convince me to watch Dune, and it's the last thing on earth I want to see. Um, and But I told Drew, I was like, if you buy tickets to go see it, I'd probably be more inclined to see it because I'd be Did like, oh, that'd be me. you tickets to the worst person in the world? Yeah. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. I can show you right now. I have a screenshot. I don't believe you. Are you are you serious? Yeah. It was cheap as balls. It was like seven dollars oh, yeah, a ticket. Seven dollar theater. I'm gonna get us Dune in 4D, <laughs> so it fucking sprays spice into the air and we start hallucinating. Girl, we should take LSD and then go to Dune and <laughs> no. feel like we're transcending. We should take LSD the at Coachella. First time take LSD is to see Dune. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get fucked up at Coachella. I'm gonna do Molly meth. Um, those are That's good. Those like, are good things to mix, that right? As a joke, <laughs> but I plan on taking a quarter of a point of Molly one. Time. A quarter of a point. That's yeah. like so. You're you're gonna be the first person to microdose Molly. Not the first person, but I will be taking a microdose of Molly <laughs> because it melts your brain, and I just can't. I cannot handle. You the can't even handle down. a vitamin B right now. You think you're about to go microdose Molly? You don't know what I'm capable of. <laughs> when I'm in the right headspace, I could literally do anything to my body and survive. Coachella sounds like the worst headspace to do anything. Yeah, this sounds kind of awful. We're going to Coachella, by the way. Patreon already knows. Yeah, we let them know. Um, yeah, we're going. We already had kind of this conversation, but I'm just not really excited to see anybody. What's so funny about that, Kai? I don't know. I was thinking about how you guys have been microdosing meth technically since you were like 14 years old. Adderall? Yeah. So Adderall. what? It's fucking good for you. <laughs> <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Um, my Vivan, our Vivan's career. If it was prescribed, <laughs> if it was prescribed by my doctor, it must be good for me. It must be good for me. I don't believe in doctors anymore. I don't good. In You're joining my side. I don't believe in medicine either. Exactly. I don't like humans didn't have that in caveman times and they survived. Yeah. So I don't need that shit. Like <laughs> granted, they probably lived till they were like 10. <laughs> Spreading medical misinformation. <laughs> Literally, they were 10 years old and like had babies already. I was like, and they lived beautiful lives. They all lived till they were 15. Yeah. How old did a caveman's live until? Like probably thirty five. Because they yeah, because they looked big. Like yeah. they had they them looked aged. The out. men looked beefy. Like they looked aged. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I, I'm down to live till thirty five. Would you let me eat you if like we were trapped on an island? Like not the entire body, but like cut off a piece. Yeah, sustenance. I don't care. I would do the same for you. I mean, like, <laughs> you can have like a little bit of my thigh. And oh wait, you're saying oh oh like. We're both alive. I thought you meant if I was dead. I was like, if I'm dead, go go at and me. I, well, yeah, of course. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even think twice about that. <laughs> I would eat your fucking decrepit dead body to survive, of course. Um, but no, if we're both alive, would you give me a piece of you if I gave you a piece of me? I think I would eat myself before I ate you, because oh you're God. not like. I feel like I have like good like succulent like. 
tasty thighs. I have very stringy. <laughs> like, it's going to be like... It'll have taki flavor. <laughs> I know. You would taste like Takis. If an animal ate you, they would die. <laughs> like, if you got mauled by a bear. Feed my body to a, pe- a pilgrim <laughs> and they die on sight. Like. <laughs> they die. Like, your insides, like, none of your organs are the color they're supposed to be. Like, that's my assumption about your... <laughs> Your insides. I was thinking about that the other day and I was like, ew, like the inside of humans, I know stinks. Yeah. Like you cut a bitch open and I know that stinks. And that like, this is gas. That literally gave me the ick the other day. I was like, ew, I know you stink when you're like a corpse. Like that is so nasty. I was like, that's so nasty. Also, corpses are like hella embarrassing. The photo that you took of me (laughs) this morning of me like dead as fucking bricks sleeping, like, that's some embarrassing like that's what i'm gonna look like when i'm dead i literally like the way you're like that's so embarrassing i was on facetime with someone and just like put the phone in your face and was like look at him he looks dead well i'm not like embarrassed i'm just like it's like a general embarrassment Mm. like it's genuinely embarrassing to think about how bad i'm gonna look in my coffin yeah well i'm gonna serve probably i need them to like um i'm gonna give them make them give me face (laughs) reconstruction (laughs) surgery like i know like Face tapes are technically like like problematic, but like y'all need to tape my shit up. Like you need to like give me a bit of a lift because I know I'm gonna be bloated and like nasty in my coffin. Yeah. So you have to like, you just gotta like. I, I want like a bit of like a yeah, done to my yeah, face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I need that done. Yeah, <laughs> I need I need like y'all to tape around skin, my jaw. And, like I need the skin <laughs> under my neck tightened up a little bit. <laughs> Um, yeah because i don't look good laying down from that angle either i need, I like, need my jaw thin just a little bit <laughs> y'all need my head propped up at the right angle don't because- fucking touch my nose <laughs> i love my nose because you know my when, honker. like you see a picture of a girl laying down and she looks really good and like cute like i only look like that from very certain angles <laughs> like from other angles i just look like a person <laughs> laying down <laughs> So like y'all really have to prop up my head for my ca- for my open casket. Yeah, we'll we'll do that for you. Maybe not an open casket. I want to be um wanna in be like a glass like box held up like in posing. I've already said what I want. Yeah, your world tour. Yeah, and if I don't get that, I will haunt you in the afterlife. I will. Ruin the thing you. is, we always talk about this, and we always talk about how like there's all these things that like oh when I die do this this and that, but like we will get no gratification from that. No, but it's for me. No, but you, you won't don't get gratification. No, for no, I'm saying you like as the dead person. Like we always say, like oh my god, like do you think I trend on Twitter? <laughs> like <laughs> me sitting in an airplane thinking about this plane going down and being like, oh, but I'm gonna be so famous after. Yeah, like what? Like what does that mean? It's not even like you have assets that like your parents can like. Well, like I don't know if the like podcast would be something we could like even sell off for money and be like who wants this like because who wants like the podcast where the it doesn't work without the co-host is dead (laughs) it's like yeah you could honestly probably keep it going for a little bit i'm like hey guys i'm opening up the chair my co-host died recently but i have to keep it going i have bills to pay we have a contract to fulfill so we're just gonna keep it pushing we could start developing a technology now to talk to me in the afterlife an AI? No. Your AI would suck balls. Oh. If we used like everything you said on the podcast, it'd be like balls, cock, inside you out, dad. AI, AI would fucking rule. <laughs> Yours would be so bad. What are you talking about? It'd be sick. Yours is the AI that like makes someone yell like human, 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 human. Oh, on the phone. Yeah. You, Drew on the phone with anything that has an automated system is actually embarrassing to watch. Like I get no, embarrassed it's, it's to see him do that. It's the most infuriating thing ever. Like why the fuck are we talking to robots? Like I don't get it. Like Says I don't Mr. Wanna... Robot Man. Says the man who like wants like AI and like neuro link and stuff that is the future girl those aren't robots those are cyborgs there's like a very big difference <laughs> i'm gonna punch you in the robots face. are bullshit and like they can't hear what i'm saying ever they don't understand what i'm saying so i have to fucking scream at them and i'm like losing my voice screaming at these stupid fucking i'm like literally getting actually angry thinking about it right now because they suck fucking ass but basically when I'm on a phone with a robot and I hear the robot automated tone immediately, I start screaming, human, 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 until they can't understand what's going on anymore. And they're like, we're connecting you with a whatever. What is it called? With a person. But no, there's like a specific. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, well, I'm just like a normal person with like. um. I hate this episode. I want it to be known. Oh my god, you're like full of hate today. I'm angry. I'm a very angry person who's 
B complex or like literally <laughs> ruining my brain comp- composition. <laughs> Do you need a break actually? No, I'm just <clears throat> I needed to state that. Oh, you want to you want that publicly. I wanted that flag that, in the dirt. That's the hill you're going to die on? I'm not dying on the hill. I You're just chilling. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> chilling for a moment. But I Yeah. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, I'm just someone who I'm like super chill. Like I don't like yell at robots on the phone, and then I just get my calls done really quickly. Because mm. I speak in a sweet manner, mm. and I'm I can say numbers enunciated very well. That's such a lie. I also have a big problem with like talking to those things because like. Oh, when I talk to fucking Siri, when I do like voice to text dictation, I'm like, do I fucking sound like that? Like, I look back at what she like wrote down after what I said, and I'm like, I didn't say half of this. Yeah. Like, is I do I just not pronounce any words I speak ever? Um, and that's all. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, what's up with babies on an airplane? There sitting actually was to, a baby next on to an airplane. A baby on the airplane, eh? <laughs> I was actually on a plane with a baby. That's what I was going to say. And it was awesome. And it was crying a lot. But I don't care. Because that's life. That that was just a little that's reminder. Life. That was a little reminder of how fragile and little we used to be. Aw. It's crazy that everybody was babies at one point. <laughs> it literally is insane. And then our parents destroyed us. They ruined us. <laughs> that's a parent's job is to ruin you. <laughs> So annoying. That's true. They're supposed to tear you down so you can build yourself back up. <laughs> so you can raise yourself. Yeah. She did have the baby sitting in its own seat. And when the belt sign came on, she didn't buckle the baby up. She was like, if you want to survive this crash, <laughs> you, you have need to, to figure this <laughs> shit out on your own. You need to put it on yourself. This is a sign of melanoma. <laughs> Having a brown line in your fingernail. No, bitch. That's just like dirt. That's like... No. You think there's a problem with you? That's dirt. You think there's a problem... There's not dirt that far down in my nail. Like, you there's mean no right way. here, this little speck? Yeah. No, I think that happens also if you like... um Something gets under your nail. Like, I've like poked under my nail and had that before. Not me having melanoma and my reality being I don't. I don't know what melanoma is, if I'm being honest. <laughs> it's skin cancer. <laughs> and I don't even think that's the right one. <laughs> Let me look it up. <laughs> Brown line You in say nail. not me having melanoma and my life being challenged. Oh, I'm literally right. Sublingual na- melanoma. So I'm done. <laughs> that you, that doesn't I'm mean done. you're right. You don't have it. I'm done. <laughs> Like, it's crazy that I have, like, three years to live and no one cares at all. I'm predicting my death right now. Three years. Three years? Yeah. Or 25 if I'm not a millionaire. Oh. (laughs) So you have a year? To make a million dollars. (laughs) Exactly. You have exactly a year to get there? A little less than. I think you need to change your goal. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to happen. I, that actually, we might just lose you. <laughs> when I was 16, I sat, this is like an actual trigger warning. So like, shut, like, stop listening. So shut the fuck up. Yeah. Um, but when I was 16, I sat on the floor of my bathroom and was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It's over. And I like, I, but I was being like very dramatic. I wanted someone to catch me. So I sat on the floor of my bathroom with like all of my like, all of these like concoction of pills that I was prescribed and I just sat there waiting for someone to catch me. <laughs> it, was, it was real. It was real. You were the worst person on earth. <laughs> I sat there waiting for someone. And but I, the idea of you like, like trying to have it naturally, like. Yeah, literally, literally. And then, <laughs> like, and then um, also, I'm going to finish this coffee. Like, Ew. just for... It's my spit. It's my backwash. And it tastes good. I gave it a little foam. All right. Look. You see this? Give me six weeks. Give me so six So, you have six weeks. weeks to be buff and a year to be a millionaire? Yeah. No, I'm just saying, give yourself six weeks. Come back. Look at the podcast. But watch every episode in between. And watch how much bigger I am. No, just don't watch the next six episodes. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> like, honestly. <laughs> Okay, so you sat there waiting. 
Is that um, it? And then my sister walked up and my she she's told me years later that everybody was downstairs making fun of me. <laughs> They're like, he's being dramatic. He's not actually going to do it. Like, he needs to, like, grow the fuck up. And they were right, but my reality was challenging. <laughs> why Why have you been saying this all day? Like, before we started it, like, he said something and me and Kai both knocked him down. And he was like, you guys are invalidating my reality. <laughs> like, <laughs> Because it's true. It's like when people are like, well, that's my truth. Like, that's what you're pulling right I'm, now. I am literally speaking my truth. <laughs> I'm speaking my truth. And I need to be heard. You speak no your listening. lies. That's, some people speak their truth. Drew gets public and speaks his lies. We should paint these. <laughs> no, we shouldn't. Why not? They're ugly. Wow. That's how you feel. <laughs> yes. We should paint them, make them really cute and customize them for ourselves. No, I don't like when people customize shit. I think it's so ugly. <laughs> like, oh I'm not kidding. God. Like, like the whole, this is what we need to talk about. The Girl epidemic that was, yeah, when I was a kid and painted walls. See, yeah. that's a kid move. Like, you don't oh do that as an adult. God. The epidemic of grown ass adults paying money for customized Air Force Ones. <laughs> That was that, an epidemic. That actually needs to stop and r- immediately. Yeah, like that's a three, virus. Three years ago. Well, there was a huge thing that I think Nike started. Like, this part is mean and I don't agree with. Like, let people do their ugly little things and just exactly. make fun of it. Like, exactly. don't be like a freak. But I'm pretty sure Nike started like suing them. shutting all of them down. Yeah, mm-hmm. and suing them for like doing customizations because yeah. they were like, you're making money on our dollar. Um, on our designs. But that was ugly. Like, it, I'm sorry if you owned a pair of Air Force Ones with the blue butterflies. The reflective butterflies. It's done. And I know they're under your bed and you look at them all the time and you're like, I don't want Why those. Why did I do this? Yeah, like... Um, no, <laughs> literally, so there's this meme that I'm like thinking of that's literally like, oh, like I'm a fashion designer. And uh, the dad's like, oh, it's like a boyfriend talking to someone's dad. Oh, I'm a fashion designer. Your turn. <laughs> Uh, what do you like what what kind of clothes do you make oh i design custom air force ones <laughs> and then the dad kills the guy <laughs> <laughs> it's, that's literally the meme that is good because i do agree with it i would do that if my, runs away i if, actually have to find that now. if my daughter brought home a guy who sits at his house and paints on air force ones it's and then deep in taxes the huh oh i'm just talking to myself i'm dumb Ooh, I had someone tell me I fell off. Ooh, I needed that. <laughs> I needed that. I cannot wait till we turn off our likes. <laughs> That's going to be awesome. We I don't off. know. I think I'll be long gone before it gets to that point. <laughs> what does that mean? I have nine months to live. <laughs> no, the thing is, I Met- would just... I, I've said this before. Under the fingernail, sarcoma, mel- no, sublingual melanoma. I would just let my likes get down to like 3,000 likes. <laughs> like, I would just let it happen. Like, I wanted to get to the point that I'm getting 76 likes and I just leave it public. I don't know. It'll be fun. Um, unfortunately, I think the world will end before we get there. You think the world is ending soon? <clears throat> I don't think it's ending I mean, look soon. at those gas prices. <laughs> <laughs> it's already I'm over. I'm walking. I'm walking everywhere. <laughs> Christopher walking. <laughs> Call me Christopher because I'm walking. Because <laughs> of these damn gas prices. <laughs> I'm not Biden. <laughs> those gas prices too high. <laughs> Wait, there's something there. I'm not Biden gas. <laughs> <laughs> if, or- I came up with one literally yesterday. Oh, I, I'm Biden f- uh, fuel for my body because I'm walking. <laughs> I'm not Biden gas. I'm Biden food uh, to fuel my body so I can walk. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny is I'm really trying to think of like a good one and I can't. Um, but yeah. I think you got I- gas money though? <laughs> <laughs> I need a cig. I need a cigarette. Um, I think we should go back to analog smoking. Like, I think everybody should pick up cigarettes Absolutely. again. Like, and, and I know, like, obviously the argument is people shouldn't smoke at all. But I just, like, 
At least we know what cigarettes are We need are to bring doing. back indoor smoking. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, because <laughs> there, there's this other thing that literally like our parents just like were like sheep being led to the slaughterhouse and we just they just let it happen. They folded immediately. Like they didn't even try to fucking fight indoor smoking, fight for it. And they just let it happen. They let the government shut it down. We need to bring back indoor smoking, just not in my house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So see, this is what happens when I take B complex. I feel like shit for an hour, and now I literally feel like God. I literally feel <laughs> better than every person on earth. It's crazy. Drew, you are actually better than every person on earth. Mm, not better than you. That's what I. That was. The I right don't even answer. think I'm better than Kai. You don't even think that you're better than Kai. Yeah, he has to think about it. Like, there are most days where he. I think he does think he is. Yeah. Yeah. Which you know. It's it's hard to blame him. I'm gonna project hell vomit all over. <laughs> I would actually end my life. That's like my biggest fear is like vomit, let alone it on me. Although the other night I was like, oh my god, I think I have to vomit. Like um. Oh yeah yeah yeah. The night I I had too much alki and I was like, I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> um and I and I almost like got myself to do it and, and I made you soup. Yeah, you did. Well, I made in your soup this or yesterday. Well, morning. let's clarify. I ordered. Well, let's not clarify. Let's just <laughs> let's just keep it at Drew made in your soup. I a good ordered boy. soup from Erwan, and I was too nauseous to get up and get it. So I asked Drew to get it, but he did heat it up for me. And because I'm a good friend, gave me soupy. And you did you did offer to go get me food, but I had already ordered food. Yeah. So technically, you would have gotten me soup. So you kind of did get me soup. Yeah, I'm just like a good person. You're um, a good little boy. Can I, I see your drink. member? My little member, my little dinky <laughs> member. You said you don't drink. Rinky. Um. Yeah, I'm just. I th I feel like I am better than everybody because I don't drink as much. <laughs> Wait, so anymore. you do drink <laughs> anymore. <laughs> so you feel like you're better than everyone because you kind of have self control. Um. Yes. Yeah. See, now I'm like going back down. <laughs> Did you see the spike? You saw it. You felt yeah. it. I well. Also, I think you had that spike because you felt good because I was laughing at everything you were saying. So it was literally just like it was the the outcome of like feeling funny. My ego being fed. Yeah. You should go get um. Why is everyone extensions? so against ego? You're one of those people. We need to bring back the ego. <laughs> I took like a really good look at you the other day and I was like kind of scared of you. Fuck you. <laughs> Bitch, I'm scared as fuck as of you. Too. I'm scared as fuck as of you. <laughs> Ew. Did y'all straighten your hair the other day? Yeah. And like, I looked advanced. I looked sick as fuck. Can I fuck. do it again today? Yeah, I think you could probably do a better job. Cause yeah. Because Elsie flopped hard. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will say I found the, the flat iron that y'all did use and it was my skinny one. That's for bangs. <laughs> and I was like, and then I, I found like, something's not adding <laughs> up here. Yeah, I found my regular one deep in my closet this morning. I was like, oh, they fully couldn't find this and they use this little winky dinky like you know what skinny we started one. using at first was your blow dryer like comb, the thing that like blows hot air. Yeah. Out. And we were like, that's the straightener. And we used it for like five minutes <laughs> and my hair just was getting giant. Um, but yeah, the Dyson, we need to get one of those. I want one of those Dyson. Blow you should buy one. No, I'm saying you should buy one. I don't want to buy so one. So I can claim it. I really like just my Conair one that I have. You give <laughs> Shiv from Succession. You're, you're I don't know what that energy. is. I give Tom energy. Kai gives. I, I do give Tom Holland energy. Honestly, you give Tom Holland energy. Yeah. Like I'm like kind of cute and like I don't say much. What does that even but mean? But you know, I'm nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cute. I don't say much, but you know, I'm nice. I give Tom Holland. You give like um Paul Rudd. No. Paul Rudd is sexy as balls. He is sexy, but I don't give Paul Rudd. I feel like I give Tony Stark. So Robert Downey Jr.? No, no, no. Tony Stark. Oh, like the fictional mm -hmm. guy? 
I'm gonna take over the fucking world. That's the craziest you're a millionaire. thing. Is I've been watching Succession, and I truly believe I'm gonna be a billionaire. And <laughs> I know I you redact- literally just publicly said re- that you are gonna be a millionaire in nine months. <laughs> I redact everything, every harsh comment I made about a billionaire in my entire life. They're doing what they want to do, and that's gonna be me. Soon. And I'm gonna keep my billions to my fucking self. So you're just like openly admitting that you're gonna be a hoarder. My entire life. After 45, I don't plan on taking more than 10 steps without being in a transportation mobile. I I won't take, I will be driven within 10 steps to my private jet which will be 10 steps That's away gonna be really from unhealthy. my helicopter. That's going to be really unhealthy. You're going to live for like 10 years after that. Which is 10 steps, of, which then lands directly on the ship of my $300 million yacht. That's going to be my life post-billionaire. <laughs> So you just don't want to walk. Yeah. <laughs> Your goal is to be a billionaire so you don't have to walk anymore. Well, I'll take 10 steps. That's not walking. That's like... And I'll roll deep with my squad. Y'all can be there if you want. I want to take more than tep- 10 steps, though. We. Well, that's not how it works. So to You're be You're on around- salary. <laughs> I'm on salary to be your friend. Yes. That's honestly a, a sleigh life. I need that for me. Yeah. Because I wasn't born to like actually commit to like any sort of work other than talking. And like if I could do that without even talking on camera, that would that would be like top tier. Like <laughs> now I've committed my life to my work being talking on camera. But imagine I could get paid to just talk. Get paid more to just talk. No, I am actually fucking delusional and I need to be locked away in a psych ward <laughs> because I literally while you were just talking, I was <laughs> fantasizing about like when I become a billionaire, which is never going to happen. I would never allow that realistic. Also, like we're not in a position where we're going to be billionaires. Well, like there's just, just like wait. no way. There's there's something in the back that I was thinking about that I was like, oh, this could like spiral. you have something in your bag yeah or? I, would, I would trick up my sleeve i have a twix up my sleeve um that i literally there's something big is coming um what is like just just know something big is coming you know i'm like your best friend i can't say it on the podcast because it's very very top secret I guess I know of something yeah it's that it's exactly what you're thinking of and then you could see it spiraling and like oh like Releasing something else and then acquiring this. <laughs> <laughs> Me having, not understanding what a billionaire is at all. Releasing something else, acquiring this, being there. It's all about being signing right- this and accepting that. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. I just don't. I really don't feel the need to be like that rich. I just don't understand like the point of it. I think about all the time that there's like a certain number that you have to make a year, like a certain there's a certain number that you hit that you make a year and your life does not elevate anything after in that. yeah, in yeah. like value past that. Like at that point now you're Happiness. just like yeah. You um, don't get more happy after you make a certain amount of money. Not even more happy. It's like your value of life like doesn't necessarily like increase by that much after this like yeah you can live like very good after this number and like not have to worry yeah um and it's still like a huge number i'm pretty sure i need to retire you're 24 i know i need to retire in five years you want to i'm 16 bitch (laughs) i need to be the youngest billionaire (laughs) why doesn't anybody lie about that Charlie D'Amelio could fully lie about that, and I would believe her. If she said she was a billionaire right now, I'd literally believe her. Yeah, I'd be like, oh my god, girl, congrats. I I never said this publicly, but last year, I randomly, on like a hot day in LA, DM'd Charlie, and I was like, hey girl, can I come over and use your pool? And then (laughs) recently, like a month ago, for no reason at all, she replied and said, yeah. And I said, oh my god, thank you. And she was like, of course. And that was our exchange. And I've never spoken to her. Actually, I have seen her in real life. Yeah. I've met her a few times. We should go swimming. At her pool? Guys, I should be really episode, fucking crazy episode, and Charlie just find- Charlie D'Amelio's fi- coming on. No, I should be really crazy and just find her address and go to her house and be like, you told me. Like, <laughs> you, you said I could come. Dude, that would the be The thing is, I feel like she's such a nice girl that she wouldn't deny me. She would literally just like, be like, yeah, come. She'd be like, okay. And then just like, however long I decided to loiter, <laughs> she would just like let me <laughs> and be like, squat, I have something to do. <laughs> you start squatting in her fucking I'm like, can I shower? House? Like, I brought extra clothes after I swam. Can I shower? Can we just hang out? Like, and then like, talk. I know I take a shower, put on my PJs and go flop in her bed like a friend. <laughs> we need to talk. 
what have you been up to, girl? It's been so long. I'm like yeah. hella like hitting her while I talk. I'm like, what have you been up to? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start doing that. I'm gonna add that into my like social like please conversation. It's being like, what the hell is up? Please don't <laughs> like, do that. Slapping the fuck out of people's shoulders. <laughs> like they walk away from me and their shoulders are like bright red and bruised. I've been told recently that I have an electric touch. No, you have not. I have, I have, I have, literally. Drew got told this by some delusional motherfucker who just wanted to be nice to him and he keeps repeating it to everybody. Oh, I said that. <laughs> Kai also said Kai, it. you did not say that. I, Kai, you it's see? not an electric touch. You're tickling people. You're yeah. doing what everybody does in a sensual way where it's like you will kind of lightly touch and like not touch at the same time. Girl, that's not an electric I touch. I gave Kai that's chills the at tickles. Air One. I gave him chills at Air One. That's because you Kai didn't. doesn't get a lot of physical touch. Okay, we're done for the day. We're just going to cut. <laughs> <laughs> Kai paused the episode. He ends it here. Um... But yeah, you don't have an electric touch. Why are you touching your like Electric that. feel by MGMT. Ooh, girl. Is Did that the- MGMT or M83? No, it's MGMT. Touch me with the electric feel. Baby girl. That is MGMT, right? It's MGMT, yeah. It's actually management. That's. It's actually management. <laughs> <laughs> I watched a lot of interviews about um, MGMT in this band called Of Montreal. Um, and I could mansplain it if you want me to. Go ahead. Of Montreal and MGMT. I don't actually. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I was gonna lie, but I was like, Dude, I'm saying this. There's gonna be someone who's a really big fan of both of those things. They'd be like, what the fuck? Is well, they are on? very closely associated because they played a bunch of shows together. And then the guitarist of I think MGMT was gonna leave MGMT and go on tour with Of Montreal, and go do a bunch of shows with Of Montreal. Um, but then they released the three big ones, like the three the three songs MGMT is known for forever. Like and they Kids, can't Electric Feel. Yeah, and they can never live down. And they see No, I'm my conversation is so boring that people just get up and leave. And I wanted a little snack because it was so good, it felt like watching a movie. Really? Yeah. And I needed something to do with my hands. Because mm-hmm. I was gonna touch your member. Okay, so oh. <laughs> give it to me. <laughs> okay. Keep going. Um, they didn't leave. They didn't leave. Um, they released a big song together, and they kind of just remained like homies. But I think they went to the same college. I could be wrong. And they were like the two bands that like were big on campus, and they were just like super big indie bands. And then MGMT blew the fuck up. Did you know all of the songs that MGMT are known for are literally made as like trolls like they made them as jokes they were like we're gonna make like the most pop pop song ever like fuck this genre of music it fucking sucks and they did it so good that they became like the one of the biggest bands in the world hmm that's what happened to me recently with what (laughs) i can't say it because i go by like an alias i don't want to like i don't want to be known for music but i am charting right now What's your, what is your alias? It's It'd be so weird if I just randomly Whisper said it. Whisper to me. Little Nas. Not fucking Little Nas X. <laughs> right. right next to the microphone. <laughs> I go by a name, Little Nas X. You're claiming to be Little Nas X right no, now? No, but I'm the X in the name. What the fuck does that even mean? Like, he goes and does all the things, but, like, it's oh. he is Lil Nas, but I'm X. Because it's, it's oh, so Lil Nas X. so you're behind the scenes making all the mm-hmm. music, and he's, he's the just, front man. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's actually really impressive. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering how you were paying rent <laughs> here. I mean. How many points do you get on a song? Oh. But it's not even fair, because it's, like. I get the song. It's how many points he gets. That's the question. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Is his full name Lil Nas X? Yeah. Okay. I'm making sure. But there's... I thought, I thought they cut me out. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know the own name of your group? It's just because it's just passive income to me. I'm going to start doing the podcast with my <laughs> back to the camera. I literally made that joke earlier. I put a, I was on FaceTime. I put on underwear. I was like, what if I just did the podcast like this and I turned to the camera and scratched my ass? And I was like, I just showed my ass the whole podcast and kept scratching between my cheeks. That would be a great podcast episode. We get hella views <laughs> for my butt. Your stinker. Your stinky little butt. 
my um tan from Miami is so bad. Like I've done all the peeling, so like now I'm just like I have my tan marks, and I thought the weird marks was gonna go away, and but it didn't, staying. and now it looks like I have a really bad spray tan. Aww, you probably deserved it. You can turn back. You probably deserved it. It's funny how you think it's respectful to have your back to your viewers. It's funny how you're a bitch. <laughs> I hate that making Kai laugh. <laughs> when you grab the mic like that, it's like sensual. It makes me horny. It's because my touch is so electric. <laughs> I was told recently that I have an electric touch. How recent? Two weeks ago. <laughs> I'm serious. It's not that recent. That is very recent. No. It's not. It's really not two weeks ago. Like in this day and age, that's forever ago. That was years ago. What are you trying to say? I'm saying it's just not valid. I, like it was so long ago that you probably don't have an electric touch anymore. Come it was on. probably just that day. <laughs> Drew? Oh my God. Should I just let him have a I few think, minutes? Let's see what happens if we let him Just like rest. Pass. I call his phone. I'm going to take his phone. Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey, girl. <laughs> hey. Drew, did what did you experience just now? Psychedelic trip. <laughs> I injected myself with three grams of DMT, three micrograms of DMT. <laughs> Not in grams, what is a yeah. what is a microgram? Is that a thing? It's like the weird U. It's like the U symbol G. I'm not, I don't I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm gonna fucking throw up everywhere. That I saw God in those seconds. It felt like an eternity. I lived three thousand lives. And how do do you feel good about this one? No. <laughs> I will when I'm a billionaire. Just, I'm not kidding. Mark my fucking words. I will be the first billionaire. The first billionaire podcast host. Damn. Yeah, let's just get on the iPhone. Joe Rogan's probably a billionaire. He is a billionaire. Yeah. Guys, my parking ticket from parking on Wilshire and not paying for it. My ticket just got sent to my house in Miami. Should I pay it or should I just like... Ignore it. You don't have to pay those. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're just like, they're just bored and they want money. It's like taxes. A stabbing today. A stabbing today. A mass stabbing today? A stabbing. Is it a mass stabbing or no? It's a stabbing. A stabbing. I need to know the story behind that post. Um, Well, I feel like she was just feeling herself. (laughs) (laughs) And she she just, there was a literal stabbing and she was like, I'm on call for a stabbing. Is that? Do you think that's the context? Yeah, I, I genuinely do. Do you think she like knew about the stabbing before she took the selfie, or like she took the selfie, then got the call and was like a stabbing today? I think she <clears throat> knew about. I think she was probably on the case for about two hours. Um, yeah, and just like sitting and, and bored. sitting and bored, and she was just like, oh, like <laughs> a stabbing today. That's like kind of her vibe. Maybe we should do that with more memes because that was fun. Think about what they're boys were. dress like this. <laughs> this is a certified I you said PG beer classic. Boys. Um, you know what I actually need to know the story of is uh one I don't even know their name. Is it Kayla and Colleen? Or what is it? Like what the hell are you referencing? Kayla Colleen, come get your juice. Because oh, I've Kim thought about Colin, it. Colleen, come get your juice. Because it feels like there's like a bunch of possible names. It could be Kim and Colin. Kayla Colin, like I, I don't know like both of the names, and I don't know if like maybe I'm just like, <laughs> and like I want to know so bad. I'm like, what's her relation to them? Is she like the older sister, or is she like an older cousin or a mom? Like, I think older sister. Did she have to go to or the ER babysitter. after that? Yeah, like is she the babysitter? Did she have to go to like the ER? Like was she like all covered in glass? Was yeah. she bloody after that? <laughs> like <laughs> she literally, she literally smashed through glass. Kim and Colin, run in here and come get y'all juice. <laughs> okay, the other kid, like, the other kid did not run that fast for juice. How long has she been wanting juice? She was starving she for that goddamn <laughs> juice. She like, wanted She had it. to have been asking for juice for, like, an hour. Kim and, and Colin, come get y'all's juice. Like, why was she sprinting 
to the Jews. Oh, weird. Why was the other kid just not that interested in the Jews? So he didn't run. Like there, it was, there wasn't another person trailing <laughs> behind her. <laughs> Dude, and she slipped forever. It felt like she slipped like 14 feet. Has anybody ever added the cartoon slipping sound to that video? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait. It's that one. It's Kim and Colin come get y'all's juice. And then the crisp back at it again at Krispy Kreme. <laughs> back at it again at Krispy Kreme. And you. He- <laughs> <laughs> that that last clip was so in the moment and real. Shit! It was so real. <laughs> also, her, her wing like pushing around the oil. <laughs> also, her like the girl who hit the glass screaming after like wait. <laughs> Dude, Look up back at it again at Christmas Kreme. Back at it again at Christmas Dude, Kreme. Come get y'all juice. That is something that's made me laugh. Every time I've seen it since it came out. It's like, just a classic. It's a literal classic. Dude. The back at it again at Krispy Kreme where it looks like nothing happened. Yeah. <laughs> back at it again at Krispy Kreme. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's just twisting so much. Like, what? He's a fucking gymnast? Yeah. Like, why is he so good at And that? why is he back in Krispy Kreme doing that? <laughs> yeah. How many times does he what, do it? What really happened next? Like, what were the events? I think I looked it up and, like, there was, like, a small article about it. Also, wait. I think there's a video about it now. No, he has one from three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> he has a video. What happened? It's him. Oh, link that to we're me. We're watching that after this. Link that to me. Dude, we're yeah, fully watching that. Yeah, link that to me. I need that. No, we're watching it right after this together. That's actually so important to, like, the culture. I know. There's so many, like, classic videos that there's no background yeah. to it. And, like, you don't know who it is. Like, because I've looked up the Come Get um, Your Juice. Because I was going to do a full video, like, talking about this. But then mm-hmm. I was like, I was like, Ugh, maybe another time. Because this was during COVID. And I was like, I had thought about, like, all the videos that I wanted to like try my best to like reach out and do like investigative research (laughs) to find the people who posted it and to talk to them about it. And then one, I was like, that's such a daunting task and I've never done something like that ever. So it would take so much time. And two, it was during COVID and I was like, I would want it to be like an in-person interview. Like I don't want it to be on Zoom. That was the worst part of COVID. It's like people who did like, like, yeah, like Zoom interviews being like, and we're going to talk to them right now. And it's then it's like, we're going to meet up with them. And then it's like them at their computer. Like, the, you know, the establishing shot. So showing the documentarian at the computer and then it switches into a screen recording. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm yeah. talking about. Literally, sorry, I'm like barely adding anything to the conversation. I'm lit- I was looking for the back at it again at Krispy T- Kreme and it just never happened. It's on my <laughs> meme account somewhere. But- yeah, I, th- I literally think I have it saved on your meme account. I have like a bunch of things saved that sometimes I just go and look at. Aww, because I just post the best, the best of the best. <sighs> um, no, because you're just annoying. Guys, in the comments. Drew posts memes and directs them at me and doesn't say anything to me about it. No, because like, I know you'll see it. Yeah, and then when I do see it, I'm like, this has just been up and I didn't see it until now. <laughs> um, Guys, how how have you been? What's new? Um, Leave a comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> The world ending, the little entire world ending. They got it on video. (laughs) The world melts. It like literally catches on fire and melts. Uh, Kai, you have to like insert all of this. Yeah, we'll we'll send them all to you. Dude, I have so many good ones from your account. (laughs) <laughs> this one's gonna get copyright striked. <laughs> it's crazy that I know exactly what's gonna happen. <laughs> no, I want that. I literally want to play with those. I'm not kidding. I want to play with them so bad. You're so stupid, dude. 
fuck the internet is so funny it's so um, infinite the world the the internet is infinite and the, goes on forever and ever and ever and ever the internet is my infinite jest <laughs> that is how i feel What's the difference? What's the difference between TikTok and Infinite Jest? <laughs> They're honestly n- <laughs> not much. Like, truly not much. Well, uh, let me rephrase. What's the difference between TikTok and the first, like, 20 pages that you've read of Infinite Jest? <laughs> Don't I, rub the mic like that, you freak. Like what? You're giving it, like, pleasure. <laughs> Have you gotten past the first 20 pages? Yeah. I got like 60 pages in. <laughs> I got 60 pages in and then I um just read a bunch of like Spark Notes. Do you remember Spark Notes? Spark Notes hooked it up for me in high school. Yeah. In middle school. I would just like go on Spark Notes and read just like the chapters that we were taking a quiz on that day and I would ace everything. Would every you ever quiz. look up Spark Notes in class? Like right That's before a fucking a test? Yeah. 100%. Like literally just forget to even cheat at home. Yeah. Absolutely. You were a loser if you looked at the Spark Notes at home, Loki. You were a loser if you read the books for real. You were a loser if you did your homework. Honestly, you're a loser if you read books right now. I never did homework and I'm like not joking. I don't I never once got home and was like, "All right, time to do my homework." Like I just never did it. I would um instead of doing my homework at home, I would go home and do a bunch of drugs and then I would wake up at 6 a.m. in the morning, drive to my school, sit in the parking lot for two hours, two and a half hours before school and do all my homework in my car, listening to the loudest music ever. I was the worst. I was literally the worst. Um, and that's um, my vibe. That was, that was my high school vibe. And that was almost every single weekday. And then I would go out on the weekends and live my euphoria lifestyle. I remember one time I went to the Lizard Lounge in Dallas and um literally thought I, I can't i actually am not allowed to tell this story because it involves someone else who probably doesn't want this story told you let them say their story yeah basically like without saying too much drugs were involved but the drugs were not the drugs that we thought we were getting and we had actual full-blown conniption fits but you're here and now you don't do those things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, though. I had my fun. I rotted my brain in high school. Now y'all are curious. <laughs> what? <laughs> Your mic can't go that far. You can pick it up. I'm, I'm just retelling my traumas. Yeah, you're literally trauma dumping right now. And I don't fuck with it. We, I think trauma dumping is good. I genuinely think it's good. Um, well, when it's good, it's. I don't think it's considered trauma dumping. I think it's only considered trauma dumping when it's, it's like bad. when it's like unprovoked, like this person you're not that close to, oh. or like isn't asking <laughs> Wait, to like have I'm an intimate saying, moment. I think therapy's good. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you're like, I think talking about like how you feel is really good. Yeah. Yeah, because trauma dumping is like if I just met someone and randomly they're like, oh, my life sucks. Like, I've been addicted to blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, oh, okay. Literally you to Kai when y'all first met. <laughs> that was us to each other. That's true. Did you dump Cause that? Because Kai, Kai trauma dumped first, but it wasn't even a dumping. It wasn't a mass dumping because we had that long ass conversation at Chateau about like mental health shit. So I was like, oh, I feel comfy here. And then also I think the... When I thought it was the first time we met, when we were outside, we all got into like an intense conversation about like moral obligation yeah. and shit. So I was I like, that. I was like, this is a this is a safe space. This is a safe space. Also, I don't trauma dump. I say really traumatic things that happen to me and laugh while I say it. Um, and Isn't then really I said something to Kai the is? other day, and he literally went like this, like in the kitchen. He goes, <laughs> I know what it was. <laughs> And he, he was just silent. He was and, being an ally, And though. And Elsie was like, Kai, are you serious? And he, like, but he was being serious. Also, like, not to make fun of you, but I've never had someone react to anything I've ever said like that. And he was just like, that was, that's actually really fucked up, and I don't fuck with that. It was it was. It's up. not okay what it was. It's funny! It's funny, guys! Come on! <laughs> Things that happen to you 
are funny because if you don't make them comedy, it'll eat you up and you'll die. And you'll that's pass away. That's literally how I go. <laughs> I know. I turn everything like, into a joke. Yeah, the laugh, 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 laugh. Is that is that like considered unhealthy? No. I well, I don't think it is because Is it like avoidance? Uh, I don't think it's avoidance because it's not necessarily like everything we talk about and joke about we've faced and we've like we've, we've okay, spoken yeah. about in serious connotations yeah. <laughs> it'd be different if like these were things we never seriously spoke about like if i never spoke to my therapist about like anything that i've told y'all and like what i told you in the kitchen i was just laughing about it i'm like isn't that funny and then i just okay. move on really yeah, fast you're right. yeah um, i think it's i think it's healthy as long as you face it first yeah, yeah you face it after that i feel like it's just symbolic of letting go <laughs> No, like I literally will. That's my number one vibe killing technique is to bring up <laughs> yeah. my dead brother. I know. We both do it. Like, I love it's just being fun like. It's fun as fuck. Like, it's literally fun. Like, if he died for anything, it's for me to get a laugh. It's for me to silence the room. Exactly. It's for me to destroy a fun vibe. <laughs> Wait, literally on the Uber over to that party. <laughs> Which one? Last night or like uh, two nights ago? Yeah. Oh yeah, I dropped a vibe nuclear weapon. And then I er, but I dropped it first. I dropped an atom bomb and then you dropped the fucking <laughs> nuke. That was me just trying to get you back with you telling me that you were ha you had to be on heart medication for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it that's literally it was not a lie. It is. You do not have any prescription to show us. Bitch. Oh, oh shit. my god. Oh shit! <laughs> Ew, he's like stomping. <laughs> he's going so fast in his little I'm slippers. Add sound effects of his feet doof, running. Doof, doof, doof. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what they gave you? Let me see. Oh, that, wait. It's called. It's a. It's called Percocet. It's not Percocet. I know. It's literally not. A boy can dream, right? <laughs> It's propranerol. Propanerol. 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 Um, it's, I have to take Three it. Three times a day? Bitch, you're so, oh. Oh, no, you did get this kind of recently. Yeah. I, I, I have saw you even taken it, though? No. Because I took it twice <laughs> and it literally gave me, I thought I was going to die. I, I had the same experience <laughs> when I took it. It fucked me up. It literally felt like I had taken like a Xanax or some shit. I was like, this is like the worst I've ever felt in my entire yeah, life. Yeah, I, I got it for anxiety. And then I remember I took it before an episode. Oh, you were <laughs> and weird. And I was like as, nodding you off. You were weird as <laughs> us nodding, We're such pussies. Us nodding off and freaking out over propranerol. Dude, I, I, I emailed my doctor and he was like, Nah, there's just no way that that like, gets such a low dose. You're, he essentially just called me a pussy. He was like, "Dude, there's no way." Yeah, no. I told my doctor that I was like, "I don't like taking it," and she was like, "I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, yeah. that's like literally no one's ever experienced that once <laughs> in their life." We. That's so crazy that we both had these like. Should I take it so I could be a part of it? Yes. Actually, right you can. It's not like it. I'm like, no, here, take one, take no, one, no. take one. When I actually, because I also, but no, what I get is chest pains. I went to the doctor once about my chest pains and they said, but I never went and got like any blood work or anything done. But they told me that what I had with my issue was that the, um, the muscles in my chest were like in, like inflamed and, su and swelling. So that's why I felt like a co bad compression. And I, I, sometimes I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack, but it's literally like, be like. What? YouTube be like. YouTube? YouTube. YouTube. You said bad compression. <laughs> oh my that god. That was advanced. Wait. Anyway, that's why I feel like I'm I'm going to have a heart attack and then they gave me um like um anti-inflammatory hmm. medicine that's specifically for my chest and it was working, but I never went and got a refill because that experience at the hospital literally costed me nine hundred dollars and i was like you know what i should do is never do that again and next time and now every time my chest hurts like that i just lay flat on the bed and like pray to god that i don't die the uh, the american healthcare system be like am i right let's go um why are you looking at me like that because i was trying to read this but it then i i realized there was like a space oh yeah, yeah, yeah we gotta get drew something prescribed for all the back pain i give him because I uh, blow his back out oh. all the time. Yeah, well, if you could get me prescribed like hydrocodeine, a Percocet, an oxycodone. You can blow someone's back out and still be really bad at sex. <laughs> that's true as <laughs> It's fuck. literally, you're, you're just like hurting them. That's a good them. ass point, yeah. Put, 
that not, feel? That's not the situation with me and Drew. No. Yeah, it's Kai good. fills me up. I, I, yeah. <laughs> he fills your butt up. <laughs> I fill Drew's butt up. That's the title of the episode. I fill Drew's butt up. You're going so like you can't <laughs> stop. Like you like you literally you're freaking out. Um, I'm waiting for you and I will let you in a car. Oh my god, Drew. Okay, my songs of the week. Media of the week. He, he, he. Fuck all night by Jay-Z. Such a good song. I went out the other night and I was belligerently drunk and then I just played it on my phone on loop and people kept trying to take my phone out of my pocket to stop it. But you can't stop the sleigh that is that song. Ooh. Over the breaks, Jay Dilla. Um, what does your soul look like? DJ Shadow. And Sound of Sabring by the Swirlies. Or by nice. Swirlies. Um, the Law of Recognition by Kai Slingo. Big Worm by Shawnee Bin Laden. And No Hate is a Cold Star by 7038634357. Like, are you joking? <laughs> no. Those are my three songs of the week. Um, I, I don't am have. Still watching Succession. I'm on season three, season three, episode five. Um, I need to stop watching that fucking show because I can't sleep. I don't have that issue. I've been sleeping good. I've been slaying. My you know what I've been doing awesome. recently is I set my alarm for 9 a.m. and I wake up and then I just turn it off. I walk across my room and I, it's not working anymore. Like I, what I used, the, my, my trick to get me out of bed in the morning was to set my alarm very early and set my phone across the room before I go to sleep. So I have to get up out of bed to turn it off. And it was working for literally five years. And now I just wake up, I turn it off and I just go right back to sleep. That's what I used to do, but I have a new, I use like the sleep schedule thing on the iPhone. So it's like not a really obnoxious sound that wakes me up, but it's like, there's like a bunch of them, but wait, where the, how the fuck do you get to the, am I dumb? I might be a little dumb. Also, I love this episode. Now I want to put my, I'm taking up my flag and I'm putting it back in the dirt. Like you can't do that. Though. Well, you already said what you well, said. Well, I hated the episode in the beginning because I literally thought I was dying. Um, this is a really good sound, and it get it just gets louder and louder. Hey. So then you're not you don't I have to. <laughs> and then this one. That's and it, good. it just gets louder. Put on the other one so I can sing for everybody. Oh. A Freddy? Yeah. A Freddy type beat? <laughs> <laughs> I loved you yesterday. Oh. Wait. <laughs> Go. I you gotta, you gotta get like a beat. Selena, Celine Dion vibe? Go really hard, I'll add a bunch of auto-tune and reverb to it. But I have to hear it first. You can hear it. Oh. Uh. Yeah. No, no, no. Do the other one, the piano one. I like. I'm it. doing this one. I like this one. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Finding Nemo <laughs> was a dream for me. Find yourself in the lovability. <laughs> You're gay, <laughs> but I mean the happy. <laughs> you like look really happy for some reason. Fuck that. No, put the first one on. I've been begging for the first one because I can go in on that one. Oh. You settled down at your apartment. You're just thinking Olivia Rodrigo. Last week. Drew looked at me. I think this not so he won't see. Is that it? That's what you begged for? Um, yeah, and that's what I used to wake up and it works. Because also it like turns off all the notifications on my phone after a certain point and like dims my screen. 
and does like all of that mumbo jumbo. Mm. And then or at 10 a.m., it we starts that up. We need soup dumplings. Today? Yeah. All right. But not Mason's. Mm. Didn't I? Mm, I'm thinking it's like too... the XLBL, like right up the street. Because Mason's too That's far away and it's too fucking hot. XLBL is pretty far. It's not It's not pretty far, but it's in like Hollywood. Word. It just seems like you don't actually care about me. It just seems like you need a ride. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's it for this episode. I Thank you. I want to order a Tesla and it doesn't come until July. Well, that's like with everything. That's literally like with my chair, how I was like, I'm not going to order the bottom piece for that chair because it's going to take two fucking weeks. And then I said that like three months ago. And then I'm like, I would have had that already. But I need it now. Then buy a used one. I know. That's what I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to buy like a 2021. Yeah. All right. That's it for the episode. Now we're just like talking like normal conversation. That's what the people want. They love that's it. That's what the people need. I'm going to suck your fingers so crazy that you're going to ask for your member to be next. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> my toe thumb <laughs> all right thank you guys for watching bye my dinky little member <laughs> 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 <laughs>